There's something memorable about the mullet. Hairstyles come in and out, but like I don't think that one's going to come back in anytime soon. Although there was that um, one kid, I forget what his name, American Idol. He had um he had that mullet, the red-haired kid. Yarmer Yager sported it to start him with the pens, and some still call it the hockey helmet. Yet these days, the hairdo of the 80s has become a hair don't. There are people who would say that the mullet is redneck. You're saying it's not. I say it's not because to have a redneck, you have to be, it has to be exposed to the sun. There's no ex exposure here. These days, a close cropped quaff is the choice. Sure, some thumb their nose at the trend and rock a mohawk. Conservationists from the zoo are doing their part to keep the mullet from going extinct. The mullet has so many nicknames. The achy breaky big mistakey, the Camaro crash helmet, Boy, you could come up with a whole bunch of them. People who wear it say it's more than a hairstyle. It's a way of life. That's why the zoo wants to make sure it never goes extinct. The mullet is rapidly becoming an endangered species. And as a conservation organization, we feel not just an obligation, but a moral imperative to herd, protect, and, and cultivate Pittsburgh's finest mullets. Stylistically, most think the mullet stinks about like these smelly fish. They share the same name. There are still some who defend it still. I'm trying to keep 4th of July. I know it's over, but keep the festivities rolling. The winner of the zoo's contest for best mullet, if there is such a thing, it's a behind-the-scenes zoo tour. Runners-up get zoo box and a chance for a free haircut. I don't know, but I might have to, what, cage myself or what's protest to... You know, save the endangered species. Yeah, there, there but to those who love what it out. represents, well, we really getting it cut will never happen. Too, because as we all with, know, uh, the mullet is business in front and party in the back. Rick Dayton, KDKA, TV News.